An aggregate query or a group by query is a type of query you can build to help you quickly group and summarize your data. Summary queries perform a mathematical function called an aggregate function on a field based on groups of values found in another grouped query field or fields. To create a summary query using aggregate functions, add the fields needed for grouping, the fields to calculate for each grouping, and any fields needed for criteria purposes in that order. You can apply one of the aggregate function to a single field. Access will then display the mathematical result for that field. For example, to get the daily total sales using the orders table, you can use the aggregate query. First create a query with order date and order total fields. Group by order date field and sum the values of the order total field in each group. On the create tab in the queries group, click on query design, add the orders table, add the fields order date and order total. In order to get a summary, you must activate totals in the design grid. In the query design tab, click on the totals button in the show height group. You will see a new row in the grid called total. The total row tells access which aggregate function to use when performing aggregation on the specified fields. Notice that the total row contains the words group by under each field in the grid. The grouping and aggregate function choices available in the drop down in the total row include group by for grouping fields and standard aggregate functions. The group by aggregate function groups all the records in the specified field into unique groups. Under the order date field, leave the group by value intact, which will group all records where the order date values are the same. In the order total field in the total row, click on the drop down and select sum. In the query design tab, click on run. The function sum is performed on order total field for each unique grouping created by order date field. The column name is prefixed by the function used followed by of and the field name. For example, sum of order total. You can use an alias for user friendly name. Prefix the field with the text you would like to see as the field name followed by a colon. For example, total sales. Run the query. The column is named total sales. Here are a few things to keep in mind when using the group by aggregate function. Access performs the group by function in the aggregate query before any other aggregation. Access groups the order date field before summing the order total field. If you want to restrict the records involved in the group by aggregate function, enter the appropriate expression in the fields criteria cell. For example, to include only orders placed in zone, enter this expression date part m of order date equal to 6 in the order date field. Run the query and only orders placed in zone are grouped based on date. If you enter a criteria in the fields which are aggregated, that criteria is applied after the aggregation is performed. For example, enter greater than 3000 in the order total. Run the query. Only records where total sales is greater than 3000 are displayed. Access sorts group by field in ascending order. You can change the sort order in the sort row. Change to descending and run the query. Records are sorted on order date in descending order.
Access treats multiple group by fields as one unique item. Add sales rep ID. Access treats each combination of order date and sales rep ID as a unique item. Each combination is grouped before the records in each group are summed. When there are multiple columns, the records are sorted based on fields from left to right. So the records are sorted based on order date and then sales rep ID. To change the sort order, rearrange the fields in the design view. Now run the query. Records are first sorted based on sales rep ID and then order date. You can add more fields and apply any mathematical aggregate operation to each field. For example, add sales tax and select sum in the total row to get the total tax. You can see the tax column is added. The min max first last aggregate functions evaluate all the records in the designated field or grouping and return a single value from the group. For example, min returns the value of the record with the lowest value in the designated field or grouping. Add other copies of the same field and aliases and apply different mathematical aggregate operations to each copy. Select average, min, max, count, first, last, etc. Run the query. Notice the results of various aggregate functions. Sum sums the values in the group. Average averages the values in the group. Min returns the smallest value in the group. Max returns the largest value in the group. Count counts the number of values in the group. First returns the first value in the group. Last returns the last value in the group. So far, you have seen aggregate operations applied to regular table fields. You can also apply them to calculated fields in the query. For example, we have a calculated column commission which calculates the value based on order total. Select sum to get the total commission. Run the query, you can see the commission column added. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.